Hi, I'm Ray Gesser with Chimney Sweeps International, and this is a topic on inspection reports and liability writing inspection reports. So everyone in the country, if they're a chimney sweep, they've got their own inspection reports. Some of them are custom made inspection reports. Some of them are, are more detailed than others. It's how mine are is that they've got the front and then they've got the back. And the back has a big terms and conditions uh, that reads a riot act of everything is, hey, look, I don't know how your chimney is. I, I'm not Superman, I don't have x-ray vision. I, I mean, why do you wanna set your up for liability if you're writing these inspection reports? Here's how I write inspection reports. I take the item that I'm inspecting and then it either follows code or it doesn't follow code. If it follows code, I say appears in proper condition, appears. Don't have x-ray vision, all that other good stuff. But someone may have just I mean, added something. Who knows how they added? Who knows how that they did that item that I'm inspecting? But they might be fooling me to thinking that it appears in, in good condition. Something happens later on and I find out that someone came out and did something weird and it made it look good. But I find out later on that he didn't do it right. And then my appears as it is in proper condition kind of saves me in court. So I'm like, look, I didn't know the guy had someone come out before me and, and made it look good. He's trying to fool me to thinking that this chimney's safe. But each individual item, I will go through and I'll either say it appears in proper functioning condition or no, it violates this building code. And then I spell out the building code. It might be IRC, blah, 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 says that unparred smoke chambers gotta be parred smooth with refractory mortar conforming to this and that. And all it is just a drop and paste item, just quick drop and paste. But I'll go through a detail, and essentially what you do is, is you kind of follow the NFPA 211 inspections. Uh, there's a level one inspection, level two, and level three. Uh, here in one of these videos, I'm gonna get into deep detail of each one of them and when you need to inspect them and how to inspect them. Uh, but the bottom line to it is, is that one, you've gotta make sure that you've got good terms and conditions on the back of your inspection report. And, and you need to let them know, just like a home inspector. Now, do you know how hard it is to sue a home inspector? He misses all kinds of stuff. And what he says on the back of his report is, hey, I'm not liable for anything. And the most I'm liable for is, 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 is the cost of the home inspection. And that's it. You know how many upset people there are that my home inspector missed something? But us as chimney sweeps are not doing that. And what happens is, is that if you miss something and something bad happens, uh, then there are homeowner insurance companies and they come up and say, well, you said it's fine and it wasn't, it burned the house down. I had someone else come and inspect it, and all of a sudden now, uh, I want you to pay for a new house. And then they're gonna sue your homeowner's insurance company and they're gonna get pretty deep. And, and so what you need to do is, is that on your inspection report, have a great terms and conditions on the back, and on the front of it, every time you inspect an item, it's either one of two things. It's, it's matching building codes and it's correct, or it's not and tell them which building codes it's violating. And that's it, it solves everything. You don't have to be the, uh, it's rocket science and, and it's my opinion, it's safe. And never use the word safe. Uh, actually, you can use the word safe because in the building codes it says this. Uh, there's a section in the building codes that talks about unsafe and safe chimneys. How you define the word safe is, is any chimney that is complying with all building codes. How you define the word unsafe is, is any chimney that is not complying with modern building codes. That's how I define safe. So if I wanna say safe, our definition of safe is that, period. Anyways, this has been your inspection report, liability, how to write an inspection report. I'm Ray Gester with Chimney Sweeps International. Have a good day.